pizzicato, a term for string instruments. Also, the name of our dog from Tennessee. We called her Pitsy, or him. We called him Pitsy. <laughs> Pitsy had an interesting beginning, much like Pitsy's interesting end. Pitsy's beginning began during our final couple weeks at Milligan College in Upper Eastern Tennessee. Somehow this campus dog had pups. Somehow we ended up with one of them in our apartment that of course didn't allow dogs. And strangely, people probably don't realize I had a soft spot for dogs. Yes, I got a card cardboard box and we cared for Pitsy just like she was our own family member because she was. Let's do a little more. So far, everything's been true. Now, Pitsy learned some of the same things about farming that I learned about farming. I had these, at least in my sales pitch to Jeannie, I think after we were engaged but before we were married, I told her about pastoral scenes and I'd be kind of a philosophical gentleman farmer type of lifestyle. Well, it didn't take long before I realized it wasn't quite like that. Now we didn't really tell Pitsy what it was going to be like, but I think she probably had some pastoral scenes in her mind. But it wasn't long before the dog found out that it wasn't quite that good. First of all, first of all, Northeast Indiana is colder than Eastern Tennessee. <laughs> Her jeans didn't quite have that cold weather gene. <laughs> Secondly, I don't know if Pitsy's mother or father had been indoor dogs, but Pitsy found that she wasn't either. We did give her shelter after fashion. At our first house, where were we first with her? Oh, yeah, at our, uh, Pitsy lived at three different locations with us. No, I'll make that two. The, f the first house uh, that we bought by the creek, we had a barn, and so Pitsy could sleep in the barn. Probably pretty good. The second house was the blue house. It had been a rental house, and then Aunt Charlie added on a garage and utility room. And then after she moved, we moved in. Uh, but anyway, Pitsy had the run of the garage, and we left the back door open. Although I think, did we have a doghouse out in the back? Anyway, in the winter it wasn't warm. But we took good care of Pitsy. Every year we'd take her to the vet, or I would. Um, she'd get in the car, then the vet she'd get out. She, I don't know if she remembered from year to year, uh, but she'd go in lie down on the floor. We'd try to make sure there weren't any dog bites, and then she, we'd go into the vet, she'd get her shot, worm pills, whatever we did, give the guy some money, and then we'd leave. But as Pitsy aged, in dog years, she was getting up there a ways, but uh, human years, she would have been about uh, seven or eight years old. Uh, she'd been breathing kind of hard, but it was time for annual checkup, so and it had been a cold winter. And, and sure, she shivered a lot with <laughs> out in the garage. But anyway, I took her to the vet's office and she went in like usual, lay down on the floor. Uh, it seemed like everything was fine. And, but in a moment, in a few minutes, the vet ran in or walked in. And he said to his assistant, Rose, I think was her name, Did she come in like this? And I looked down and Pitsy's tongue was on the floor. Didn't seem like a good sign. <laughs> and she was awfully still. Rose said, no, she came in. So the vet quickly took her back to the, his room and apparently decided she died of a heart attack or something. Maybe that came later, but uh, anyway, I'd gone in with Pitsy, left without her, several dollars richer than I expected to be. <laughs> what? But you, you can't put a price on losing a dog, that's for sure. <laughs>
<laughs> so I went home to the blue house and Jeannie was giving the kids a bath in the bathroom there that was the entry point. Well, that's another story. But um, she said, well, how'd it go? I said, funniest thing. <laughs> or strangest thing, perhaps. Funniest. And anyway, told her the story that although Pitsy went to the vets with me, Pitsy did not come back. Certainly, uh, it'd be a loss for us, but uh, Pitsy was probably warmer where she was now. <laughs> that was embellished a little bit. That wasn't part of the conversation. Uh, let's see. Is there, she went to hell. <laughs> is there more that uh, you tell with Jeannie, or Christy, when you tell the story? Jeannie, is there anything yeah. you want to add? Actually, I think Christy's version is quite a bit shorter. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Especially the intro. Usually a little shorter. Anyway, thanks for the opportunity to share this. <laughs> Thank you. And